In this video, we are going to show you how to show file extensions in Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 File Explorer. This step is essential for setting up programming environment for programming in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or even PHP. And this is a list of suggestions of how you should use this video. The first thing you need to know is which version of Windows you are running. You can I'm running Windows 8.1, but if you're not sure, you can you always go to settings, control panel, and check the system. As you can see, I'm running Windows 8 and version is Windows 8.1. The next thing you need to do is find out where um, your file explorer is. So I'm going to just go and do a search. Type in file explorer. So this is your file explorer. It allows you to um, assess all your files on your computer. And a, a good thing to do is to pin this to your taskbar. So I'm going to right click on this place, right click. Oh yeah, you need a mouse to do this, so make sure you have a mouse to do programming, okay? So pin this program to the taskbar. Right click, pin it. And now this guy, this file explorer uh, uh, will appear on your taskbar, so I'm going to shift it to the left side of my taskbar, so because I use it really often, so this guy will always be here. So next, you left click on it. So as you can see, these are all the resources on your computer. I'm going to go to my C drive, so that's your local hard disk and I'm going to create a new folder so make sure you know how to right click so use your mouse to right click and then left click new folder I'm going to create a new folder called temp T -E -M -P, so I'm going to type in temp and this folder is created in my C drive as you can see you can click on C drive you go to temp it is empty folder created so I'm going to make my screen slightly smaller. Now if I create a new document here, for example, I'm going to create a document called test, T-E-S-T. -E it is a text document. But Windows does not allow us to see what is the file extension. Which is fine if you're a normal user, but if you want to do programming, you want to know what your file extension is. So we need to see the file extensions. So we can go to view, you can click on view, options, change folder and search options, and then you see this green folder options, you can click on view, and then there's an option here called high extension for known file types, okay, which is um, Windows set it up, it is checked by default because Windows does not want you to mess up with its operating system and things like that so but if you want to do programming you need to see that so you just uncheck this high extension for known file types and then you say apply there are other options you can play with here for example um, this options but we are just playing with this so you uncheck this uncheck high extension from known file types apply okay now you see your test document although it is totally empty it has a extension called txt that detects whether it or that detects which application opens this file so if you um, double click on it you will open it up you you will be opened up by notepad okay of course there's nothing inside so i'm going to type something and i'm going to save it Now because you can see the file extension, you can change it by right clicking on it and then and say rename. Let's say I want to change it to a HTML document, so I just type extension htm. And of course you will receive a warning, say are you sure? Of course I'm sure, so I just say yes. So now you see here, this one is by default going to be opened by Firefox. Okay, so if you double click on it, this file is going to be open in a browser 
and this is the text that you key into the text document. So now you can use this file for coding um, HTML. If you want to rename this to something else, for example, a DOC file, DOC, by default, this is going to be opened by Windows Word, uh, Microsoft Word 97. Sorry, 97 to 2003. By default, it will be opened by um, Word. If you rename it to DOCX, it will be opened by you cannot be opened by this but but the default document uh, the by default they are still going to launch word if you want to rename this to ppt it's going to be a traditional powerpoint file it's going to be opened by powerpoint If you want to rename it to PPTX, it's also going to be open by PowerPoint. Although, of course, sometimes um, the application cannot open the file because you don't have the correct file format. The file is just a temp text file. But what I'm saying is you can use the file extension to det detate what application is used to open it. So let us move it back to TXT, which is where we first started. So now this file is a text document. By default, it's going to be opened by Notepad. So that concludes um, how to show our file extension in Windows Explorer. Oh, one more thing. Do not change file extensions in directories such as program files or Windows, unless you really know what you're doing, you may crash the operating system. But I'm only programming in C10, so whatever I do here is, is in my area, so it's pretty safe. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.